Hello, soccer people. This is Alan Goldstein, the Soccer Yoda, bringing you views of beautiful goals from an American soccer geek. That's me. This is the first in a series of videos looking at great goals from around the world and analyzing what made them so notable. And in this video, we're going to take a look at Belgium's third goal against Japan in the World Cup, which capped a great comeback and sent them on to the quarterfinals. And we're going to take a look and see what made it so great. The move starts with Courtois, the Belgian goalkeeper, gathering in a Japanese corner. He distributes to De Bruyne. De Bruyne sees open space ahead, so he carries the ball forward. As he looks up, he sees Lukaku ahead of him. But Lukaku's got a defender on him. It's Nagatama. He also has Monye on his right and Chadley on his left. Lukaku knows he's marked, so he's going to make a crossing run in front of De Bruyne. This is going to force Nagatamo into making a decision. Which way is he going to go? He goes with Lukaku, and this opens up space on the Belgian right. De Bruyne looks up, sees an unpressured pass that he can make to Monnier. Lukaku is going to continue his run, but seeing the pass, Nagatamo changes his mind, tries to change direction, and ends up in no man's land. Meanwhile, Lukaku now has Hasabe on him, so he continues his run, although he changes the direction away from Chadley. Chadley's behind Lukaku on his left, and he knows it. So as he continues his run, Hasabe stays with him, and then Lukaku dummies the ball to an open Chadley, who puts it in the left corner. Let's take a look at this goal again from a different angle. What we want to watch for is the important run being made by Lukaku. He's going to run in front of the Japanese defenders. He's going to force them into decisions. They're going to make runs with him, change their mind, get caught into space, Monier is going to make a great one-touch pass, which is dummied Chadley into the open goal. This type of movement and this type of running is common in the modern game. Lukaku makes the goal with his running, and he never even touches the ball. So let's take a look at the ideas, the concepts, that make this into such a great goal. First of all, off-the-ball movement forces defenders to make decisions. The defenders have to either go with the runner, stay in the space, and often they end up, as in this case, in the middle. And it was Lukaku's run that created the openings for the Belgians to use to make this into such a great goal. Players with the ball make moves dependent upon the defender decisions. The players with the ball take a look at what the defenders are doing in response to the runs of those off the ball players and then they make the appropriate passes. And it was De Bruyne and Monnier who did it just perfectly in this particular case to create such a great goal. So now that we know why this was such a good goal, let's take a look at it again. If you'd like to learn more about this type of soccer, you can get the book Concept Soccer, a step-by-step -step method to score goals and develop players. It's available on Amazon. And if you'd like to read more about the Soccer Yoda's views of the beautiful game around the world, you can go to my blog, 
thesoccerioda.com. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you had some fun. Perhaps you learned something. This is Alan Goldstein, the Soccer Yoda. See you next time.